See, as I told you in the mnemonic B first, the last T stands for time, that is time is brain. If the patient comes to, uh, any patient is identified within 4.5 hours of the onset of the symptoms, uh, then that is a golden hour which we should not miss. Uh, that means within that time, if any patient comes to the emergency, we can save a lot of uh, neurons, that is the brain cells. Why I am telling this CC? Whenever there is the occlusion of the blood vessel, that time what happens? The brain structure, when the, the core of the brain will get damaged first where the blood is getting supplied. Okay, Then there is a surrounding area called penubra which can be saved. That is a huge area which can be saved. See, if the core is gone, then don't need to worry, but you can save a lot of penubral area. That is the thing which can be saved within 4.5 hours. That's why 4.5 hours is called as a golden hour in stroke. If you see any patient suffering from the stroke symptoms, immediately they have to be rushed to the stroke-ready hospital where the facilities for the thrombolysis, IV thrombolysis or thrombectomy facilities are available and you can minimize the death and disability of that patient. So why I was telling about the golden hour is there is a special injections available now called as a clot bursting agents like a tissue plasminogen activator or tenecteplase. These are the injections which we use in daily routine for those patients who arrive to our emergency within golden hour. And once these injections are given, if there is any formation of the fresh clot in the large vessels or in the near large vessels, then these clots can be bursted and the canal can be recanalized. That means the vessel can can be recanalized and the blood flow can be re-established. Thereby, you are going to save the penebral area and minimize the disability and death. So next, what if the patient comes after 4.5 hours, what you are going to do? See, if the patient comes after 4.5 hours, there are other line of treatments which are available. Immediately, we are going to give the antiplatelets, that is the aspirin, which can be given 150 mg or 325 mg stat dose, along with the clopidogrel, that is a double antiplatelet we use when the patient comes immediately. 75 mg or 150 mg of the clopidogrel can be loaded. Thereafter, you can use 150 mg aspirin or uh, 75 mg clopidogrel subsequently. Along with this, we usually give statins of 40 mg to 80 mg of statins can be given according to the requirement of the patient. Then the neuroprotective agents such like acetylcholine, paracetam can be used. If any patient with the stroke have the symptoms of seizures also along with that, then we use, usually use anti-epileptic drugs can be used to control the seizures. Once the patient is uh, thrombolyzed, suppose if the patient comes within the golden hour and uh, when we check the NHSS scoring, that is National Institute of Health Stroke Scoring, if the patient is eligible, uh, if the scoring is around 5 to 25, then we are going to do the thrombolysis and uh, immediately patient will be shifted to our uh, stroke ICU, where our stroke physician assistants and the stroke nurses are available who are very well trained in our hospital and these uh, uh, patients will be under constant observation. We are going to uh, monitor the BP, we are going to monitor the pressures, uh, uh, pulse and also the heart rhythm continuously and once the patient is stabilized, the patient will be shifted to the ward. When the patient is there in ICU, then during that time only we are going to start the physiotherapy that is called rehabilitation will be started for early recovery and uh, within three weeks to three months, majority of the, these patients do well and uh, they recover. This is how we are going to manage the patient in uh, our ICU. And once the patient is in the ward, we are going to mobilize them, we are going to give the physiotherapy. We have a very well-equipped physiotherapy unit in our center who are trained in treating the stroke patients.